Steve, what are you doing? Hi, I'm um, gonna go ahead and show you a couple of uh, course, crash course 101 on your PC. A lot of people are concerned with what a RAM is, what a CMOS battery is, and what happens when their power supply goes out. So this is a crash course real quick for if you're interested in knowing when your technician calls you and tells you what's wrong with your PC, this is pretty much what he's trying to find for you. This is an old PC from a client. We're actually gonna put it to rest. It had a good life, but unfortunately the motherboard's gone already. If you take a look here, when a customer, when a technician calls you and tells you your RAM's bad, pretty much that is this. This is RAM. Um, this one here is what makes your computer go much faster. Um, you're gonna hear megabytes and gigabytes and two, four, six, eight, ten, and so forth, so forth. When these go bad, these are very replaceable. As you can see, the motherboard is what holds everything together. With the RAM, it's gonna make everything go much faster. That takes care of these two little guys. As you can see on this motherboard, you only have two slots. This is two gigabytes. So this customer here was running four gigs of RAM. When your technician tells you that's bad, that means these have to be replaced. Okay. So this is this is essentially the brain cells of the computer. Correct. Okay. Now, if you ever look on your screen, and on the bottom right corner, um, your clock is going off every day, every other day. That means this little guy down here, it's going bad. This has to be replaced. This is what's called your CMOS battery. It looks just like a watch battery. That's that right. You got that right. So if your clock goes bad on the bottom right corner of your screen, there's nothing out of this world. We just got to change this little battery down here. This here is a cooling system for your processor. You can't see it, but right inside of this is the brain to the computer. That's where your processor is at. Uh, dual core, uh, quad cores, it's depending on what kind of processor you have. As you can see, this one's a little dusty, but it had a good life. It's done already with. This one here, this is your video card. I'm not sure if you can tell down here, but there's an actual fan down here. Gears go out on this one here, bearings. Um, this is what it looks like on the back. This mother, this video card was actually had two DVI connections plus an S video, which nobody uses that nowadays. They go for the digital, which is going to be these two right here. All right, covering the front, these are your SATA connections. These are for your newer um, um, CD DVD burners for your hard drives, um, solid state drives. It's going to be used these. The older versions, like this computer here. We're using this kind right here. And these were your EIDEs. This is not being used no more. So on the newer models, um, motherboards, you won't see this type of uh, technology in there. Um, Where's the power supply? Your power supply will be this little guy right here. Now this is your standard. This one here runs 350 watts. This is not your typical one nowadays. Nowadays you want to run with minimum of 400 to 460. The standard one we use because you're going to run multiple CD, DVD burners, uh, even hard drives or multiple powerful um, video cards, it's going to be at least 750. Uh, there's higher in, in ones for like a thousand watts. But with a standard case, you might want to go with a 460. Anything of a high end with multiple devices, you want to go with like a 750 at least. Um, another thing I wanted to show you too, your CD DVD goes off, that's going to be this guy right here. Let me move some of these cables so you can take a better look at it. Now this one here again is running EIDE, old technology. This one's not part of the actual computer, it goes in the case but not part of your computer. These are replaceable. As you can see this is an older version which I had a good time here. If you look down here, do you have your USB? your microphone and your headphone jacks. Internally, they go in with pins on the bottom of your motherboard. So, and this case here actually is missing the hard drive. The hard drive was being ran by a SATA cable, which is a new technology now. So that pretty much consists of what your technician might call you that's wrong with your computer. And motherboard issues, processor, video, RAM, which is gonna be this, this little guy here your CD or DVD burner and your power supply. Anything beyond that, 
uh, might get a little bit more technical where he might have to have a sit down with you. But besides that, it's that's pretty much when your basic one-on-one -on -one when your technician calls you up when there might be something wrong with it. Thank you, Steve. Thank you.